Hoshi can schlier like Alex Davy and the ball kosher and a doy at the alleger. Must Jackie turn a ring in oikri like Dun Farline? Well, funny enough, um, my dad was fishing, um, so I went a long way, and we were out on the boat, and I just wasn't feeling the fishing, so I jumped off the boat. Um, I had my wellies on, and I found a flat basketball, and I just started kicking that about. And then um, there was a Dunfermline coach called Davy Lax. He just came up and asked me if I wanted to start, and I just said yeah. So yeah, that's how I started. I was nervous to start with, but I think the girls were all nice and welcoming, so yeah, I feel like I just fit in just the same. I, I love the, the club Dunfermline. I always find myself coming back. I think it, it's just a good environment here. There's, there's more family than friends here. It's amazing, yeah. This is all I've ever wanted to do is play football, so yeah, coming here for such a young age and still being here, I think it's amazing. Kay and Jones skipping and banak doing far like a bee, must a horse hit the dish for Stuart and G. Comedy. The shock horum clicker took like it in Mar Alex, I got a barrack bod in the Nish and Sass, and the ball cautious of the ski there. It really started off like in November when the Park Foundation came in to try and set the, reform the club again after it folded when it was in the Championship. And we just went on from there advertising for players, trying to set it up, and it wasn't until like maybe February, March time, that it come to fruition. We've got like loads of interest, like Alex and a few of the other girls came along and it just kind of built from there. And then two weeks before the league started, we managed to get in. So it was all kind of a rush. We'd only played one training session and then played one friendly. And that was it, and then it was banned right into the league. So we're all under one club, the Power Foundation's all under one club now, so it'll incorporate the East End boys and the, all the girls, and we've got one big pathway as well from the wee ones all the way up to the, uh, the ladies. So you've got, your, you've got your fun fours, fives, sevens, nines, elevens, and all the age groups you can you get. So we've got that full pathway now, which is a great thing for Dunfermline to have because we've never had that before in the past. So we've got players coming up from the 18s next season. And we've got potentially six of them coming up. So that's great for us to get the young blood in and it's not going to come to like a standstill when all the older, experienced players leave. They'll be, they can step up and take their plate and hopefully the experienced ones will stay in and just try and guide them a wee bit more. I think it's, I think it's very important to get young girls to a certain age, bring them up and just keep pushing and pushing them. Yeah. I think there's lots more girls now than there used to be playing football, so yeah, I would say just keep bringing them in. There's a lot more players out now eh, than there was when I first started, yeah. It's lovely, I think, just all these small players coming out. They could be up playing for Scotland one day, eh, they players, so you will never know. Ha Alex is be on the jail hound and teasing it. A good bar of now lake it told on the pars. A guy who is a guy is a time girlish and tight to hire a dime when a clicker than an ailer against a coach. This team have showed me lots of help me for everything and I think coming here and scoring all the goals, it's not just me, it's the players as well. They've helped me a lot as well. I think it's just my pace to be honest. I just try to find that finish as well. I've, I've probably missed as much as I've scored so. <laughs> Oh, it means a lot, yeah. I just want to get out there and show everybody what I could do, so, yeah, it means a lot. You can see she's progressed as the season's went on and she's become, she's just excelled. Scoring 55 goals doesn't say that she's not, so she's listening to us, eh? so. And we've got experienced players like Kerry and like Elaine and things like that, that are strikers and Sammy as well, they're all strikers, so they're just saying, just change just a tiny bit, not say a big bit, just adapt your game slightly and then and she's listened and it's worked and she's she bangs in the goals every week for us so uh, so they, they are important but Alex she can pass her she can pass her knowledge on now for what she's learned. She might not think it but she can. The coaches Angie and Kelly they've been amazing throughout the full season. They push you really hard and I think them all together they've found us all so yeah credit to them for finding all of us. Kyle Dun Farling and Mach for artists of the league in their hoo and hazing sir. They plan to in the Marha, or some fear can touch cheek to look leg and afflinger. We've got the right infrastructure. This was a rush season, so we're gonna be sitting down over December talking about how we're gonna develop the club going forward, and get people get more people in to help us, volunteers and things like that. And uh, hopefully we can just 
build on from that and I think we'll be challenging again for the league next year. Um, I thought we were unfortunate this season, very unfortunate. Um, if we weren't so rushed and the players had knew each other before the season started, then I thought I think we would have been up there, race five. So, but we put a good challenge in. Definitely, I'm really, really proud of the girls and the way they've handled this season. They just they've got that never say die attitude, and hopefully they can carry that. I know they will carry that on till for next season. We just came in with a brand new team, so we've not been a big team for long, but. I think well, how far we've came, it's amazing how far we've came, yeah. We want to reach that top, so yeah, getting to the top would be amazing with this team, yeah. Getting to the top, definitely. Just go for it, try your hardest and get up there. A dwi'n farling yn torch corum dwi'n chleich y dyrun mar Alex yn y sgillyn ac y hashbynnydd. Ac ys a Alex yn doch ys gyda'i tosig driach, syrf ac olyg y hasio. When we formed and she come and she's just... She's just stuck in. She's she's loving it, and you can see the smile on her face when she's training and in games and things like that. So it's really important we get the people in to the club so they can start enjoying it and see what see what can happen in the future. They might just start out, oh, I've just come to keep my fitness up, and then all of a sudden their first teamers getting on the list. They're starting a living on every week in week out. So I think that is really important for players like Alex to maybe pick up that phone, give, it, give someone a wee text, can I come along to training tonight? We'll never turn anyone down, so we'll just we'll, we'll do our best to help everyone, the older ones help the younger ones and vice versa. So, yeah, that is, that is important. For the future, I'd like to maybe, maybe play up higher than I am right now. Maybe one day a bigger club in Premier League or something like that, yeah. Oh, it would mean a lot. It would mean a lot, yeah. That's all I've ever wanted to do is reach that very, very top place. So yeah, it would mean quite a lot. So I just need to keep trying and trying to get up there and maybe it will happen one day.